in the future, uh, there has been a lot of talk about uh, next generation IoT uh, to enable things like autonomous vehicles, industry control automation, and remote robotics, just to illustrate. Now, these applications require something substantially different, namely low latency and high reliability. Uh, if two terminals would like to communicate with one another, they have to uh, go, go through the base station, go to the network, then come back down. So we have a substantially, uh, we have substantial signaling, radio transmission, as well as infrastructure delay. Also, uh, because everything is uh, deployed and fixed, we have to uh, constantly fight for the trade-off between capacity and reliability. We think that 5G technologies will build upon evolution and revolution of 4G technologies uh, in order to enable this next generation IoT. Towards 5G though, uh, internationally is agreed upon that there will be uh, substantial changes to the architecture. Namely, it will become very programmable so that we don't have the same problem we had up here that uh, everything is set in stone. Also, we will allow for so-called network slicing which allows us to simultaneously uh, support different applications by using different configurations of the network is a mobile edge computing where we uh, have an edge cloud to provide service in a local area to shorten the infrastructure latency. Now, uh, there will be uh, substantially new radio access technologies, for example, um, massive number of antennas, so-called massive MAMO technologies to improve the reliability of the, the communication, and also uh, a new paradigm of uh, a communication between devices uh, called direct communication where uh, mobiles or uh, vehicles will be able to communicate directly with one another without traversing through the network and reducing the uh, uh, signaling and infrastructure delay. In terms of a programmable infrastructure, we are working on the so-called centralized uh, radio access technology. Because it's virtualized, it's very flexible and can be configured uh, based on different uh, requirements. Suppose I have a building and I want to support uh, a lot of IoT applications. What I need to do is to make sure that I have a, X, a, 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 a radio head or transmission point very close to my, my uh, uh, devices. That way I can shorten the radio distance. I want a centralized controller so that I have a means to flexibly mitigate the interference. So this is what, what we could do on the infrastructure end to improve the uh, reliability and shorten the latency. The new paradigm of device to device and vehicle to everything communication. If the devices can communicate directly with one another, then all they need to do is to wait for the proper uh, transmission opportunities and, and, and that's it. Now, evolving based on this will be the vehicle to everything communication. What we have done with this is, first of all, we have uh, de defined a, a physical layer reference design for this communication protocol. And on top of that, we are now working on the algorithms for V2X to, to, to have the new signaling procedure for uh, fast and robust message dissemination, which we mentioned earlier is very important for emergency crisis situations, where one car needs to uh, broadcast, for example, emergency messages for all the other nearby vehicles to avoid accidents.